you know, in the 50s, there was, I don't know if anybody here remembers, the carnivals used to have in the 50s. Every carnival used to have a geek. You know what a geek is? A geek is a man that eats a live chicken right before your eyes. He bites the head off, eats that. Then he goes ahead and eats the heart, drinks up the blood, sweeps up all the feathers with a broom. In them days, it cost a quarter to see him. I guess now it might cost about 15 bucks a day, isn't it? Anyway, the geek pretty much captured himself most of the time. Nobody that, ever, that I know ever did get too tight with the geek, but one day I was having breakfast with a bearded lady and she said, stay away from that man. So I said, why? She said, because he looks at everybody else in the whole world that's freaky, except him. He thinks that uh, he's just earning a living and what he's doing is pretty straight. I said, oh, wow. Anyway, years later, that came back to me. I was walking down the streets of Nashville one day, I think about 1964, with my organ player, Al Cooper, both of us had long hair. And in them days in Nashville, nobody had long hair. Not Willie Nelson, nobody. So we were walking down the street and buses were stopping. We were just stopping the trash and just walking down the street. Someone else along the line, all these things I put them together in this particular tune. You walk into the room with your pencil in your hand. See somebody thinking and you say, who is that thing? It's so hard, but you don't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yes, you know how it feels. And says, yes, you're so big. Thanks for the door. 